Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel Hi Mathematics and today we have really interesting equation x square minus x cube equal to 80 and we need to find our x. You can also pause the video and try to solve this challenge by yourself, write your assumption down into the comment section and we will check your answers here in just few minutes so it will be it will be really interesting. So first of all let's bring this 80 from our right side to left side, let's do this right now. As a result what do we have right here? We have x square minus x cube and minus 80 yeah equal to equal to equal to zero right now let's write instead of this 80 let's write mm, 64 plus 16 okay let's do this instead of this 80 let's write this thumb but according to this minus we need to change these signs so we have as a result x square minus x cube and as i told before we're gonna write instead of this 80 we're gonna write 16 plus 64 so as a result we'll have minus 16 and minus minus 64 equal to 0. So we just change this 80 by 16 plus 64. Really great. Right now, if you look closely, 16, this is 4 square. Very obvious, yeah? And 64, this is 4 cubed. So right now, let's write this. This looks like substitution. So instead of this 16, we're going to write 4 square. Instead of this 64, we're going to write 4 cube. So as a result, we have x square minus x cube minus 4 square and minus 4 cube equal to equal to zero really great right now if you look closely we have four elements two right here elements x square and four square we have the second power and right here in these two elements we have third power so it's really great to group these elements so this with the second power and this with the with the third power so let's do this right now as a result we're going to take it inside parentheses x square minus four square yeah x square minus four square really great and right now let's write what we have right here minus x cube minus 4 cube minus x cube minus 4 4 cube right now let's create parentheses right here but we need to know that if we factor from here minus 1 if you want to take it inside parentheses so we need to put plus right here okay so let's do this right now so we have right here x square minus 4 square inside parentheses and minus right here but inside parentheses we will have plus x cube plus 4 cube equal to equal to 0. Really great. Right now, if you look closely, difference of two squares, and right here we have a thumb of two cubes. So right here, a really great moment to remember to learn about school formulas, school identities. So the first identity, a square minus b square. This is equal to a plus b. Yeah, I have right here a plus b times a minus b. Really great. And we're going to apply this formula right here in this in this parenthesis and the second formula a sum of two cubes let's remember this formula a cube plus b cube what is this equal to this is equal to a plus b right here and times another parenthesis we have a square minus a b and plus b square plus b square we're gonna apply this formula right here in this in this parenthesis okay so let's do this right now as a result what do we have right here Right here, this identity, we have x plus 4, x minus 4, yeah? So we have x plus 4 times x minus 4, yeah? And we have right here minus, and another identity, this identity with this sum of two cubes. As a result, we have x plus 4, and another parenthesis, x square minus 4x, and plus 16 equal to equal to zero right now if you look closely what do we have right here we have x plus four right here and we have x plus four right here so we can easily factor this x plus four so let's do this right now let's factor this x plus four as a result we have x plus four and inside another parenthesis we have these elements we, st we still have these elements right here so we need to bring it in this parenthesis as a result x minus four and this is a very tricky moment because a lot of students write minus and this expression, but we need to put minus and let's leave it inside parentheses right here. So we have x square minus 4x and plus 16 equal to equal to zero. And right now in this next step, we're going we're gonna to multiply this parentheses by this minus. So let's do this right now. Right here we have x plus 4, x plus 4, and inside another parentheses we have x minus 4 and inside this parenthesis we're going to change all these signs so we have minus x square plus 4x and minus 16 equal to equal to zero you don't need to hurry up because this is a very tricky moment one wrong sign and your question is absolutely incorrect so we are going to we're going to solve it step by step so let's do this right now so we have x plus 4 
and inside another parenthesis, what do we have right here? Minus x square, okay? Minus x square. Next, what do we have? x plus 4x, we have plus 5x. And the next thing, minus 4 minus 16, we have minus 20, equal to, equal to 0. Right now, a product equal to 0 when this parenthesis is equal to 0. So as a result, we have right here, when x plus 4 equal to 0, or another parenthesis equal to 0, or minus x square plus 5x minus 20 equal to, equal to 0. Really great. Right here, we can easily find our x. It will be like our x first. x first equal to, <clears throat> from here we have minus 4. Really great. So this is our first solution to this question. x first equal to minus 4. And this is and this is real number root. To be, to be fair, this is real number, real number root. <clears throat> Right now, let's solve this equation. First of all, let's multiply both sides by minus 1. When we multiply both sides by minus 1, we can easily change all these signs. Let's do this right now. So we have as a result x squared minus 5x and plus 20 equal to 0. Very basic quadratic equation. Right now, let's find, let's find a discriminant to this equation. Let's do this. First of all, discriminant equal to b squared minus 4ac. As a result, let's plug in what do we know from here? B, A, C, we, we can easily find. So as a result, we have minus 5 square minus 4 times 1 and times 20. From here, we have 25 minus, we have 80. Yeah, as a result, we can easily see that a discriminant is negative. Discriminant equal to minus 25, 55. So right here, we have two, two complex roots, but let's find it. Let's find we can easily do this. So we have x second and third. After this x first, we have second and third root, which is equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over, all over to a. Let's plug in everything that we know from, from the step before. We have x second and third equal to minus b, we have 5 plus minus square root of discriminant square root of minus 55 and all over all over to a all over two <clears throat> okay so right now let's express this minus 55 as minus 1 times 55 so as a result we will create a complex unit so we have 5 plus minus square root of 55 times square root of minus 1 and dividing all of the thing by by 2 which is equal to right here, this is our complex unit, this is our i, so as a result, our answer, x second and third, equal to, right here we have 5 plus minus square root of 55 times i, and all over, all over 2. This is our, this is our second and third root. Right now, let's write our final answer to this question, let's check our root right here, so let's do this right now. So our final answer to this question, our final answer x first equal to minus 4. Let's separate this part from this one. x first equal to minus 4. x second equal to 5. Let's go with the plus sign, plus square root of 55 times i and all over 2. And x third equal to 5 minus square root of 55 times i and all over, all over 2. These are the three roots. This first root is a root in real numbers. We are talking about real numbers. These two roots is, is complex, are complex, okay? So we have right here complex, two complex root and one real root. Let's check this root real quick. Let, let's check this um, x equal to minus 4. For example, right here, let's go with, with this left side. What do we have as a result? We have x square minus x cube equal to, equal to 80. Let's check this minus 4. As a result, minus 4 square minus minus 4 cube equal to 80. Let's do this. So we have right here minus 4 square, it is 16, minus, minus 4 to the third power, this is minus 64, okay? So as a result, we have minus 64, which is equal to 80. Yeah, right here we have minus and minus, we have plus 16 plus 64, this is equal to, to 80. So yeah, this is absolutely great root. This is our check, this is our proof to our to our question. Yeah, so we have our answer. Right now we can easily see a graph to this challenge. You can see mm, this point of intersection. We have right here this minus four. We have only one point of intersection. So it implies that we have only one only one real number root. And moreover, we find two, two complex root, which is really great, uh, I guess, to, to solve this challenge completely. And right now, this is a very tricky moment because a lot of students, uh, when they see this question, x squared minus x cube equal to 80, they try 
try to solve this challenge by inspection and maybe 90% to find the, this route, find this route x equal to minus 4 because this is not that hard to find this x equal to minus 4. This is not that hard to, to check uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and somehow they find this route. But this is inspection method. What about a solution? As you can see right here, we have a long and complicated solution, which is which is really great, I guess, when we solve this challenge completely. When you find this route, this is also a really great moment. And when you solve this challenge only in like one, two, three, four lines, this is also really bad for your teacher and uh, also really bad thing for you when you solve this challenge by inspection. By inspection, you can easily check this route, but not about, uh, but you can't um, solve this challenge. Yeah, you can easily check, but not, this is not a great solution by inspection okay so this is a solution to this challenge i hope you learn something new i hope you enjoy this video so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life love mass and everything will be everything will be okay see you in the next videos and have a great day